Hi, very good afternoon, it's Jim from Avstar. Um, I'm going to be doing the latest Earth update for you. Uh, if you want the latest magnetic north pole position, it's been published over on Patreon. Unfortunately, it's going to cost you £5 a month. It's not a great deal uh, when you think about it. You know, we are the only observatory that are covering the actual position of the magnetic north pole, as far as I'm aware, on the old internet, not just on YouTube. No one else that talks about it has the equipment to actually, you know, pinpoint it like we do. So it's a best spoke service. There is some other bad news coming for you guys. Uh, the website is going to be going uh, when they uh, come round, when it comes round to the next bill. I know it's only five hundred pound a year, but it's not coming out of my pocket anymore. Uh, you know, people are going to start paying for the service which they get. And if they don't want to pay for it, then obviously it's not that important to them. I mean, we're not breaking the bank by saying five pound a membership for mo per month. You know, five pound is a cup of coffee these days, so it's not a lot of money. And if you're really interested and care about the biosphere or the planet you live on, and you want to know what's going on with probably the biggest anomaly that's not being talked about in your mainstream media, then five pound might be worth knowing a little bit more about it. Um, I said. Uh, at the beginning of the year that if things didn't pick up with regards to support for the information that we were going to make cut back so we've transferred the magnetic north pole position over to patron uh, we do the earth alpha at a glance usually on patron only as well uh, so this is you know a, a unique opportunity for a few people to catch up on what's been going on but i will say this once that six year archive on the internet has gone it is gone unless you've recorded it and took screenshots of every page of the data that we've collected on the Earth Elf and the magnetic north pole positioning, it will be gone forever, other than what's on my hard drive. So it's entirely up to you now, guys. It's down to you. In, the ball is in your quarter. You either want to support what we do, or it's non, non, not really of interest to you. You know, you've got better things to think about, like the cost of living crisis and all that. It's entirely up to you, is what I'm saying. But for my um, position on this is that you know I don't mind giving my time for free when it starts costing me money as well you know that's another another matter and I'm sure you would be the same given the times that we're in at the moment that's why you know I've had to seek alternative source of income you know and uh, that should be coming online hopefully at the end of this month but you know I wanted to keep this going for everybody it was just the fact that you know everybody weren't interested in supporting it now it's on its way out this information is it's best spoke only for patrons now and you know the website which is free to everybody you know which gets around seven to ten thousand views per month you know sadly most of those people are just coming for the freebies and it's just like the magnetic north pole position on youtube the majority of the fifty eight thousand subscribers were there for free so, you know, when this is gone, this service, it's gone for good. And it's on its way out the door. The only thing that can stop it is people coming forward and supporting it. It's as simple as that. I'm just, I'm just telling you the way it is, guys. You know, you don't work for nothing. Nobody does. We all, you know, I provide a service here. We have a lot of equipment like the CO2 detector, the atmospheric oxygen, the background radiation. You know, we check on the latest volcanoes in eruption the largest earthquake in the last 24 hours muons which comes from our equipment over in canada and here in the uk and then there's the magnetometers as well out there in the field so you know there's a lot of equipment out there and you know for five pound a month it's really at no cost to you guys so you know it's up to you if you want to keep the database which i think is the most important thing because once we lose that we not only, well, you guys not only lose the positioning of the magnetic north pole and an archive of six years of that, you also lose the data on the CO2, on the oxygen, on the volcanoes, on the earthquakes, on the muons, on the background radiation, etc., etc. You know, we cover a lot of information. And uh, like I say, £5 is nothing for that information, but unless people start supporting, it's going. And it will, at, the, um, at the moment, it will just remain with the patrons. So there's a link down there in the description. You can look at it as much as you want, but you really need to access it.
and you know make a contribution if you want to keep what service we provide going it's entirely up to you and with that i'm going to not waste any more of your time we're going to get into the um, latest earth alpha at a glance so starting with atmospheric co2 we're at 439 parts per million um, which is a slight decrease in the last time we've done a reading on that uh, atmospheric oxygen really nice amount of um, reservoir content of oxygen in our atmosphere 20 Point three point, sorry, twenty point three five percent. So plenty of oxygen. We're not running out of that, thank God. Uh, the latest magnetic north pole position is there. Uh, radiation background count uh, is zero zero point one seven microsievets, just up by two microsieverts from the last time. Uh, volcanoes in eruption are thirty seven globally. Uh, that's one more than usual. Uh, the earthquakes over the last two, uh, 24 hours is a 5.2 magnitude um, and that is north northwest of Indonesia. Uh, muons per square meter per hour here in the UK are at 511 muons and in Canada we are at 613 muons per square meter per hour. Uh, latest sunspot numbers is five which is down from what we've been seeing recently and the geomagnetic field is quiet and the solar x-rays are normal and of course as you would expect the jet streams conditions are unstable that's your earth alpha at a glance for you guys um you know i, I want you to think about you know the database once it's gone it's gone and um you know it's entirely up to you guys now where this goes i'm going to leave you with the links down there in the description if you want to help support and keep going what's going at uh, what we can deliver here at the observatory for you and um, the only other thing for me to do is wish you a good day and say what I usually do as always bye for now